Do you see the bling over here? Yep, we're doing some scratch offs today. And a few other little things that I want to kind of clear up. So let's get started. And we all got dreams. We all want things. But what you gonna do for? How you gonna move for? What you gonna be? Hi guys, it's Anne Marie and I'm the Queen's Budget on YouTube. And today we're gonna be doing some saving challenges. Uh, some scratch offs and a few other things that I'd like to uh, bring out among, among the community. Um, first off, I want to say that we have $655 here. Uh, some of this is from last paycheck and some um, side hustle money that I've been doing. I am not going to count it because these fives are no joke. These are all the same, like they're all in order. They're brand spanking new. I don't even want to attempt it. But it's all there. I did count it. Uh, before we start scratch off, though, I want to start with this one and I want to talk about it because it is an exciting challenge that um, Lisa at Lisa Grateful Me is starting actually today on Labor Day. So scoot over to her channel so that you can get part of the fun. And what it is, is the, it's the sushi roll challenge. So what it is, okay, so what it is, is there's three super cute sushi roll game pieces here, game board. And she's starting with the yellow one, which is this one. So I'm just going to put this aside, put these two aside. And what this is, is, let me just bring this down. What this is, is um, she is going to roll a dice every day for 16 days. So there's 16 circles. She's going to roll one dice and she's going to place the money and the, the amount in each circle. And after 16 days, if you can beat her score, she's going to give you a free downloaded saving challenge. But if you don't beat her score, she's still going to give you a saving challenge. It's the runner up one, but I'm sure it's going to be just as fantastic. So go ahead over to Lisa Grateful Me. And she already rolled her first dice today on Labor Day, Monday. And uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. You got to go over there and watch her. But I'm going to use Erica Black and Blue Make It Bling dice that I purchased. I purchased actually 10 of them because there's a game that I play called Tenzi, and it needs 10 dice in order to play. And I will be playing with Erica's dice that she made me. Beautiful job. So I find this one to be the lucky one. And here we go, Lisa. Let's see what I roll. And I got a four. Not a six, but that's okay. And I'm using also uh, Lisa, um, Erica's Make It Bling special pen that she made me. Uh, Aquamarine is my favorite color, and a wishbone is a special symbol for me. And eventually I'll talk about why, but... Yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. So we got a four, so I'm gonna put four here in my first box. This is a daily challenge, so I will be filming my daily rolls. And if, even if it's like a two minute video, just to roll and place it, so I'm held accountable. So let's go ahead and get $4. $4 to start off our sushi roll challenge with Lisa Grateful Me. Okay. So what I typically do is I, I download the envelope and <clears throat> I cut off the flaps and I just double, I just fold it in half. And uh, that creates kind of like a dashboard for my A6 binder. So I don't have the actual envelope that I slide it in. It's just the actual dashboard. So let's collect everything here. And I'm so excited that she 
created this challenge for the community just to come together and play along, which is a lot of fun. I know that not a lot of people have have videos or have channels, but you want to be part of it, and this is a way that you can be part of uh, playing with us and having all of us get to know you better. So go ahead over to Lisa Grateful Me, play the challenge. You have to download her um, sushi roll on Etsy, and uh, yeah, so um, go ahead and do that. So that is done. So let's go ahead and get out my scratching challenges. I think there's one I owe money on. I want to do that one first. Yeah, I think it's in here. These are my scratch offs. I've been really working hard at um, TNL budgets ones. I had about five of these and now I'm down to the last one with the last circle. But I do owe money on this challenge from last time I scratched. So let's go ahead and get that money out. So it's an IOU of $23. So 20, one, two, three. Let me just put these aside and I'm going to scratch off the last one right now. So let's do that. Maybe I can make some money on it, make a condensing on it. And it's no joke, $28. Woo! -hoo. Some high numbers. So let's see how much the pet challenge came to. So let me see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, and I have the extra extra 23 here. So let's see how much pet challenge came to. I can throw away my IOU. And let's get this counted. Just going to get the money in order. Okay. So if you want to download this challenge and you don't know what you don't want to know how much it is, just fast forward through this part. So I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 300, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 317 in the pet challenge. Very good. So this is going to go into my I will use this one for my completed binder this time cute little pink flamingo funny story is um, the town that I work in is Lemonster Massachusetts and Lemonster Massachusetts is the actual hometown of the person who created the pink flamingo which is those uh land you know like out like a lawn thing that you like stick in your lawn or in your garden um those classic ones from the 50s uh the gentleman who created it is from lemonster mass so um pink flamingos are pretty big in that town which is kind of cool so that's that I do want to go over real quickly let's see where it is I want to go over real quickly my box binder 
before we start scratching off. Um, I do have some in here that I just want to load in. I have them in order. <clears throat> um, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 26 dollars in my box binder that I'm going to place in. So I'm going to start with the A. I'm going to place one in. And I have six dollars right now. And I'll color these in after. I just want to do this quickly. So we have the B's. One, two, two B's. So four, eight, twelve. Now we have sixteen B's. B is for beauty for next year. Uh, a is for appliances. I want to get a new um, dishwasher, as you all know. Um, I have no C's. D is for extra debt. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And we have two more to complete 25. So I'm going to actually take this out. And I'm going to add the $2 to complete it. I'm going to put these D's, the, the other three, in the envelope to start a new one. I have to download the D. And let's just count it. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 25 D's. And I will place it in my pink flamingo. Completed challenges. And I will allocate that to extra debt for next year. I have one, two, three, three for eating out for uh, takeout next year. So one, two, three, so we have four, eight, we have $10 so far in eating out. F is one that I get a lot of. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which I like because I've already completed one and this is going to be my second one because uh, this is for extra food grocery for next year. So we have seven, so four, six, seven. So we have four, eight, twelve, twenty-one dollars in extra food. As you all know, my food bill for the year is going to be about $4,000 that I'm saving. G, I have three G's. G is for gas next year. I need about $3,800 in gas or $3,600 for the year. Um, so we're adding three G's. So I have 4, 8, 12, 16, 19. 19 for G. Uh, I have one H, which are hard to come by. That's for extra household, so four, eight, 11. 11 in household. I never can find them. It's for extra investments. J is a little hard for me to find. X, it's for extra coffee next year. And K is for cleaning service. K for cleaning. Uh, I have one, so it's 4, 8, 12, 16, 22. Almost completed one round of the Ks. <clears throat> L is for landscaping. I have three L's, so 4, 8, 12, 16, 23. So I need two more to complete. Very exciting. And I want to show you guys quickly. I know you guys have spotted a $50 bill out in here. This is actually a star note that I'm saving. Uh, found it amongst when I downloaded some money. And that's exciting. I have other bills too. I have a 20 here as well with a star note. But look at this one, guys. Are you ready? Check this five. What? What is that on a $5 bill? What is that going on? 
Should I put it in my A's for appliance and create $5? Or should I save this and try to maybe laminate it? This, guys, I had to look it up because I thought maybe it was actually a counterfeit. But if you look here very closely, right here, it says, which I can't read, once, uh, uh, 1963 A. And back then, this bill had letters on them. Actually, all bills, 20s, 10s, everything had letters on them. And I don't know when they switched it over. I think it was in the 80s. So this bill has been in circulation since 1963. So I looked it up on eBay. I don't know. They go for like $20 or so. So I'm going to save it. I found that very exciting. I got it as a, I got it as money back from buying my coffee at Dunkin' Donuts. Crazy, huh? So, and some of these have a red stamp here. Um, those are more money. So, just wanted to show that to you guys. So, that is done. So, let's go ahead and get into the scratch offs. Um, I'm glad we completed one challenge so far. Um, because I have a lot of money here, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to do my Midnight Budgets Challenge. That's so stinking cute because I love the little cat. Um, let's see. I have, I just want to see what color I want to do. I, we haven't done a blue one in a while. Blue one was here. So let's do a blue one. Let's see if I can find the first blue. There we are. When you order from Midnight Budgets, you can order high numbers or low numbers. And obviously, looking at mine, I ordered the high numbers and they are pretty darn high, which I'm excited about. So let's go ahead and scratch this blue one. And I also asked her if we if I could get extra ones because I think I think when you go to her site, um, she only gives you 10 per order, and then I added like 30 more without the box. I, I just ordered the envelopes, and she gave me a special, um, there was a special sale order on Etsy f just for me to purchase. So I was really happy that she was able to do that. I probably will continue this one like forever. I'll probably always buy from her because I think it's so cute. And I love it. So I see a letter, a number eight here so far. Let's see what's okay. 48. Not as bad as most of these have been in the 80s and hundreds. I might come back and do another one today. We will see. So this is, is this my first time using this? I think so. No, I've used this already. This works like a dream. And I don't know if you guys know, but you cannot move these beads. I mean, they are glued on. They, I mean, I'm not going to drop it, but honestly, it's like amazing work. So 48. So we have 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48. I am not rounding up on this. I probably will kick myself later with all the dollar bills I'm going to have, but that's okay. I figure I got 30 or 40 of these to go through and they're over $50 each almost. Although I had a $6 bill one here. That was pretty low. This is not fitting. Hold on. Okay. 
There we go. And let's put that in. Okay. And there it is for Midnight Budgets. We might come back to it. Okay, well, this one is for the 500 Envelope Challenge from t &L Budgets in her book right here. And I am going in order because the numbers are all random. So I, I like that. I think that's exciting that I'm not doing it in order. I think it's going to, I think it makes it easier for me. So let's go ahead and we have 22. Five, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22. And what I'm doing as if you're new here, each, each pocket is a line. So the first line is this pocket. Second line is this one. And then the third is this one. And I'm starting a fourth line. And that's what all this is. So place that in. And there we go. I might come back to this one because that was a low number for me. Okay, let's stay with the mystery book. I have um, the money here for deliciously good savings. Okay, the money so far that I've scratched off is here. And let's get going. How was your all weekend with Labor Day? Hope you had a good day. I can't believe it's already September. It's like crazy how fast this year is going. So I got 24, 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, and 4. 24. Okay, I'm just going to reattach, might come back to some of these. The next one is Gem Savings, and let's do this one here, $39. Thirty-nine. Let's see if I have a dollar. So I'm going to put forty in. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, thirty-five, forty, and put a dollar back. Okay. Tropical Savings. Where did my scratcher go? There it is. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to do the bottom one here. Okay, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five. Okay.
that's all I have here for now. <clears throat> I may come back to this. I want to perhaps just start scratching off more on one on the first page here. Try to get one of these done. Um, let's do some scratch offs here. This is from Heather's Heather Budgets. I have all of her monthly scratch offs. This is for September. Maybe we can even finish this one. I don't know. Let's see. I have 20. Let's keep going. Let me just put it out. 5, 10, 15, 20. And $5. I love this that this is laminated. I probably can wash these off and re put stickers on again and do them again next year. So here's $5. You know what I was thinking of doing next year? I was thinking of doing a like one whole video on monthly challenges so that I can upload four, like maybe once a week I'll do them. Uh, like this is a monthly challenge. Um, if I'm to color in, I have some, uh, let me see if I can find it. I don't think I have it directly in front of me right now, but I have a, um, I have an envelope of a color challenge I want to start next year where, you know, one sheet with all little things to color for $20, $30 a piece, $5 until they're all completed. I was thinking of doing that, a scratch, you know, a scratch off for the month. Um, I know that, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Two Sister Bees has a couple monthly challenges as well. So I might do that. So we did, I put the five in, so let's keep going. Might want to finish this one. And we got ten dollars. Here's five, ten, and twenty five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. I'm gonna make some change here. Uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. So ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, and I'm taking a fifty here. Okay. you here bring the money in so we got 15 5 10 15 and just two more guys get this one done we have 30 get 20 out 
5, 10, 15, 20. 30 and 20 equals 50. So I will place a 50. And just one more. We get 25. It's only like the fifth and I already have this one done. That's great. I might even start on October early. So 25. Um, let me see what I have here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So I cannot, let me see. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. So I have the fifty, fifty, one, one fifty, one fifty-five, one sixty. So one sixty is completed for September. And let me get out my wonderful pink flamingo pouch and place it right in there. Completed challenge. Okay. Um, the next one I want to do is Mel's budget. This is a thousand dollar challenge that I've been working on. Okay. So let's see, um, I'll do, I want to make it even. I want to do this one and then I'll do this one. I'll do this one and then that one next time. Leaks, $90. Ooh. I know that these are high numbers because it's a thousand dollar challenge. But the higher the number, the closer I get to it. So 50. I'll do 100 and take 10 out. So here's 10. So there we go. Okay. And that's it for that. Let me see how many more I have left. One, two, three, four. Yeah. No, not yet. I'm going to wait on that. And then we will have $1,000. And then I'm going to do this one. This is from He Budgets, He Creates on Etsy. It's the Let's Get It. And he has a $100 scratch off, a $150, and a $300. So there's also a, um, it's like a little thing when you scratch off, whether this is going to be black or red, you have to double the amount. So I've already placed in the 10, the 15, and the 10. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to scratch all three. I'll scratch all three and then scratch this and then place in the double that I have to double for all three once they're completed. So that's what I'll do. So let's go ahead and do the 100. I probably even have enough here to complete it. So I have five. Here's five. Um, I have ten dollars. Um, here's ten. Um, yeah. 
and five, 10, 20, 30, 40, 55. So there's 45 left. <clears throat> I may as well scratch them. And once I scratch these, I might be able to start one of these today. Okay. So we got $10, 5, 10, 5 These are made really nice. There's 10 5 10 just two more, 15, 5, 10, 15, and 5. Five. So let's see, we should have a hundred here. So we have 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 50, 5, 65. Oops, I had a 20 there, sorry. So 20, 30, 5, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100. So what I'm going to do, like I said, we are going to be using the times two um, on these, but I want to still use them, the $100 to stuff in my envelopes. So what I'm going to do is use the money, put this aside, start another one, use the money, put it aside, put it aside, and then I'll take all three completed. Once they're all completed, the money's gone, I will do the times two, and then I will add the money all back in for all of them. So that's what I'm gonna do. So right now I have 100 here. So I think that's like three challenges today that I completed, or four, I can't remember. Okay, so I have that gone. Let me put in this $100. I might wanna take the 20 and the 10 out. Let me see, yeah, I'm gonna make some change here. So 20 and 10 is 30. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. There we go. Into my pink flamingo. All right. So we've gone through all of them. Um, <clears throat> I may want to do Mel's budgets again because I want to get this thousand dollar one done. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So I'm going to do this this one, okay? And we have 76. Twenty, 
45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76. Okay. So let's get this in order here. I don't want to count it because I don't know. I, I don't want to know how much I have left to do. Um, I want to kind of be surprised. All I know is I have three left. They're going to be high, probably fifty to a hundred. Yeah, they're going to be high, like in the seventies, eighties. We're getting there. Maybe next time I'll just finish that one. funny too is I have another I have another Mel's Budgets thousand dollar one with a little coffee stain which I'll have to clean off um, I bet you the numbers are the same so I don't want to look at it when I do this one all right I want to get these done by the end of the year. Um, I'm going to do another one of these, I think. Actually, no, I'm not. I am actually going to go into my TNL and start with trying to make a little more headway with the with this page. I think I can do lower denominations than the cat, the um, Heather but uh, midnight budget one. Um, let's see, let's do this one. I think this one's going to be high because that's an eight. So, ugh, forty six. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's okay. It is a mystery challenge. That is quite all right. More money for me at the end. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. $46. Let's, um, I got about 40 left, so let's go again. This one has to be low. Come on. Nope, it's not. 37. Okay, <clears throat> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I owe this $2. That's not so bad. That is not bad at all. I don't want to count this. I don't want to know how much this is until the end. So, but I know it's all there. All right.
Oop, that one popped off. Let me do this much here. I'm left-handed, so this is, I should flip it upside down. There we go. Okay, that's secure. Yeah, maybe I might want to finish this first page off. This is getting a little, a little high. All right, and that is it. We actually did okay today. We are finishing some challenges. Um, I might want to show you something. I know it's the end of the video, but I kind of did something with things I bought on Timu. This is... Um, these are like colored rocks. They're like little tiny little stones. I think they're plastic. Yeah, they're plastic. They're not real stones. But what I did was I took this, they're like little stickers and they're kind of holographic and they come in a bundle of 300. Um, and I bought, I made sure I had 300 worth of the rocks. And these rocks are glow in the dark. They like glow like a super blue. They're really cool. You can throw them out in your yard and stuff. Um, but what I did was they're, they're pretty secure on there. The glue, the glue on these are pretty secure. And there is kind of a flat on most of these. There's like a flat surface that you can just stick them on. And so they're all mixed up. I mixed them all up. And... Let me figure out, it's almost like the 100 envelope challenge, but it's a 300 one. Let's see how much the 300, how much this will come to once it's all paid up. So now I know how to figure this out and I have a video out on how to figure out um, the envelope challenges when you have a specific number like of envelopes. So this would be a specific number of 300 envelopes. So you take the number of envelopes times one more. So it'd be 300 times 301 equals, and then you divide it by two. So this would be a $45,000 challenge. If I was to just take a rock just randomly and look at it and say, okay, 150, so if I have a, a saving money here, this would probably be the first challenge I would go to to make sure that I have enough money. And I know that nothing would be more than $300. So, um, yeah, I might start this, I don't know, whenever. The only problem I have with these stickers is that some of them, like for example, this either is 99 or it's 66. I'm not sure which one it is. So it will probably be more than 45, 150 because I decided to do the higher number on all of them. So if this is like a 90, if it's like a 98, it would be an 86 if you flipped it. So I would do the 98 instead. So uh, yeah, I didn't think to put like a line underneath to say this is the right orientation for this number. Um, but there's gonna be a lot of this happening um, with the eights and the nines and the sixes. So um, yeah, I'll end up with more than 45,000 and I don't know how long this will take me. I was thinking of taking a piece of dice and like rolling like a four, and then just pick four random, one, two, three, four, and this is how much I would put in my envelope. So, you know, that would be one, fifty, one, two, it'd be like 210 for that. So, I don't know, because um, I think if I, did 300 like one a week I mean that'd be like four years <laughs> or no 52 weeks yeah it'd be like a long time 
So um, I want to expedite it and um, see where I can go with it. All right, guys, I will um, see you on my next video. It'll probably be a, a cash stuffing video, either with pick and pull or just me doing it myself. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye bye. This is just the beginning. I need a big change. Help me feel like living. I need a big swing. Home runs I'm hitting. And I'll never look back. Moving on till I get it all.